this is the box that just arrived and we're going to open it up here in a few minutes and see what's inside. I don't know if this is the OQO or the docking station or what it is. We'll open it up and we'll find out. And you can see the size of this. I, I'm including a dollar bill in some of these uh, videos and photos just so you can get an idea of the, uh, the size comparison here. On some of the uh, on unboxing videos I've seen, you, you get the impression that the box is much larger than it is. It's not a very big box at all. This video is brought to you by AreaCable.com. You can see the very elegant packaging that the OQO comes in. It's really striking as soon as you open this box. The really, really tiny looking OQO is sitting right here. It's still round, uh, surrounded in plastic, so you see a little reflection here and so forth. But I wanted you to see the... Um, the look of it once you open the box. I can tell the OQO is going to be difficult to videotape because the screen is is very reflective. Um, they've got a it looks like a screen protector on it um, and that makes it even more difficult but you can see I'm holding it in my hand it does feel very solid um, for the size it, it, it has a fairly significant weight to it. Um, still very carryable if you will but uh, you could tell it's a very solid piece not flimsy feeling at all we'll see what it looks like when we uh, fire it up later here's everything that came in the box you see the um, power supply the documentation you see the port replicator over here um, and then of course here's the the low QO and again I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna put the dollar bill in the picture just so you get an idea of the size the relative size of these items again to give you the idea of the size you can see my Dell workstation there in the foreground and you can see those monitors sitting up there and then I'm gonna zoom right in on the OQO This gives you an idea of the size we're talking about. In the interest of being thorough, here is the documentation that came with it. And again, we have photos of all of this as well, so follow the links, the photos, you're going to be able to really see detail if you click on all sizes. Put photos up. But this is the documentation that comes. I'm not going to do every page of the start guide here, but um, just to give you an idea. And this is a spare little navigation hoo-ha or whatever they, what that is for the uh, mouse for the navigation again just one more size comparison here we've got a um, Swiss Army knife uh, parked next to the OQO and here we are with the uh, keyboard showing you just slide the screen up and it has a very nice feel let me see if I can uh, do it here just um, just kind of snaps back and forth and it's got a real nice solid solid feel to it okay I'm booting this little puppy up I just pressed the power button here and it's got the Windows XP screen on there looks very sharp very clear you're not going to be able to tell in this video of course but it really looks clear here the OQO is continuing to uh, to boot up into Windows XP. Here's the unit running and um, installing some uh, antivirus software and so forth. Been running all day on and off and um, it doesn't get uh, too hot. It gets warm to the touch. I've got the uh, keyboard lit up here, backlit keyboard. It's very easy to turn that on and off as needed save energy nice little computer just to give you another comparison just to show you the dramatic difference here I've got a 15 inch PowerBook G4 in the background and um, in the foreground of course the OQO I'm still updating uh, the uh, Norton antivirus definitions and so forth been playing with this unit all day long and um, it's been doing great no real problems so far
The Wi-Fi, the range on the Wi-Fi doesn't seem to set the world on fire, but I'll usually be using the EVDO. That won't be set up until probably tomorrow, so I won't be able to comment on that until later on.